In January of 2017, Palestinians fulfilled a dream, opening an embassy at the Holy See. More than a year later, Ambassador Issa Kassissier has met the Holy Father. The Vatican formally recognized the state of Palestine in 2015. Earlier this week, Vatican correspondent Juliette Lindley sat down with the ambassador to ask him about rising tensions between Arabs and Israelis and his reaction to the recent violence in the Gaza Strip. Very negative. And since then, I think we had uh, more than 140 Palestinian kids were killed. More than 14,000 uh, Palestinians were injured. The situation is so deteriorating. People lost uh, their uh, hope in uh, peace. They're in despair and he is weakening the voice of my president, Mahmoud Abbas. He is weakening the voice of uh, the moderates. Unfortunately, you know, Trump and his entourage used uh, wrongly uh, religious uh, arguments, you know, to justify their illegal unilateral uh, steps. You've been ambassador for almost five years to the Holy See now. These have been very tumultuous years in the Middle East. Uh, what role do you think the Holy See can play in trying to broker peace in your region? Pope Francis uh, always uh, held the moral stand toward our uh, cause. And, uh, you know, I mean, we, uh, we hope from him that he speaks out more uh, vocal when it comes to Jerusalem. And uh, I tell His Holiness that Jerusalem must not be exclusive for one side at the expense of others. And this is his duty with other uh, uh, world church leaders to make a point that, you know, what Trump uh, has done is uh, wrong and Jerusalem is all ours. And, uh, you know, in, in, in the Holy Land, you know, we Christians, our numbers are uh, dwindling. You see immigration by Palestinian Christians because of this very difficult political economic situation. Ambassador, no one would have expected that just a couple of days ago, President Trump would have shaken hands with Kim Jong-un of North Korea. Who knows, perhaps against your expectations, perhaps President Trump will do something and he'll manage to broker a peace deal with Israel between you. Our land, we call it a land of miracles. You know, we have there the three prophets and uh, you know, there it's a mosaic. So everything is possible. But if uh, President uh, Trump would continue with his unilateral policies against the international legitimacy, international resolutions, against the voice of the world, then we are uh, closer and closer to deepening the circle of uh, bloodshed. And this we don't want to see. We're so tired. I'm so worried about my children. I suffered the occupation. I don't want to see my son facing the same problem and the same for the Israelis. Let us make peace, but peace uh, starts with the right requirements of peace. And uh, it's all about ending occupation, sticking to international uh, resolutions, uh, respecting our dignity and our national aspiration. Ambassador Issa Kassissier, uh, Palestinian ambassador to the Holy See, thank you so very much for joining us. Thank you, Juliet, so much. Thank you.